So today it's a bit of a different video. A lot of people from the PF community probably won't know me because I never make PF videos. I'm usually an Aimbox YouTuber, so you know what, that's interesting. Welcome to my profile, I'm Raux, I play different FPS games. I'm pretty sure to range out into Phantom Forces. Anyways, welcome to the video. If you also want to get these custom sleeves and wondering how can people get these and everything, it's actually not that hard, it's just a bit annoying and complicated to do. But that's what I'm here for. I'm going to show you today how to get these custom sleeves. As you can see, I have the crimson webs. I actually crimson webbed and textured them. You can customize about any texture you really want in this game. You can use any texture you want. So, well, let's get right started. So, the first thing you will do is follow the guide I linked to you in the description. Just follow along in the video. He explains it perfectly on how to, spe to install Special K, which is the first program you will need. And after you've done all of that, you will go to your Roblox again, join Phantom Forces and let it load in first. And as you already can see from the tutorials, it will show you this little pop-up called special that you, there you can see that your game actually installed prop that it actually installed properly. Now what you will do is just wait until the game loads in and then you will deploy. Then we will deploy. Go back here. Just go into some where you can have where you uh, where you kind of safe. Then, like in the like he already showed in the video, you can press Control Space and Control Shift and Backspace to open the menu up. And here we are in the menu. Then, under Direct 3D 11 settings, you will click this little red button called Render Mod Tools. And then you can close this window down, drag it somewhere here. Then here, the first thing you do is just get in between these two lines till you see this double arrow and drag the live shadow to the right. We don't to the left. We don't need this here. Then just then go to this downer corner here and then you can resize it. Just drag it out, drag it down a bit and something like this. Now you will click just use textures, click hide inactive textures and click refresh. And then you use your bracket keys to go through all of these. Obviously you can still just click through these. And what we are searching for is, as you can see I'm using my bracket keys right now. We are searching for two specific textures right now we want to use. And as you can, let me just re-click find them. They shown here is the first one already. It's this, it's 737217. It might be different for you. And as you can see, when you first start the game and you didn't do anything else here, then you get a button called dump texture to disk and you will do this, just click this. And then you will keep searching for, the, for your right sleeve. Here's the right sleeve, it's 93C85. It might be different for you, just keep it in mind. I've already did that here. Just do this exact same dump texture to disk. And this is pretty much all we have to do. Obviously you can mod a lot of more textures, but this will be really basic for you. So the next thing now you will do is, you can close this down, just minimize it and go back to your special K. As we have to obviously edit them now. Just click on file, exit game and exit of the game. Oh, so, now after you close the Roblox, you will click your Windows button obviously, then, oh, then type in Roblox, then you can see under apps, Roblox player, click right click, click open file location, then click on the Roblox player, click open file location again. And there we are in the Roblox and so forth, where you also installed Special K when you watched the tutorial from him, from the video I linked. Then you will click in this, then you will go into this sk underscore rest folder and then you have two folders. The first folder you will go into is dump, textures, Roblox player beta. And this is where all your dump textures will be. As you can see also the two things. Obviously I dumped a lot more, but what, you, what we want to do now is you will need Photoshop for this. So it turns out I'm a big idiot and actually didn't look right. But you can still save them even without Photoshop, so you don't need it, which is actually better for you guys, obviously, because you don't have to do anything else. Just download paint.net, it's in the description as well. It's a free program, very easy to install, and it's obviously free. So after you install paint.net, just open paint.net up, as you can see. Go back to the folder, obviously, where you had your textures. Like for me, obviously, it's still in my Roblox folder. Because I'm a, so as you can see, it's still in the SKRS dump folder. And so what you can do is now, I'm just gonna edit the right sleeve. Just click, just import it like, like Photoshop, just like click it and drag it in here. Click open this file. Then we can edit it again. I will not do very much with it. I will just probably just, let's just, let's just invert the colors for this time. You can obviously edit anything. You just, you can overlay a picture, just be sure. 
Well, let me let me see if I can actually demonstrate it. So, what you if you want to let's say if you want to like over the texture over the thing, grab a picture, press Control A after you put it, Control C to copy the picture, and then press Control V, and obviously keep canvas size. Then just drag it somewhere where you like the picture to be. Let's go with this. Press Enter to select the finish. And then what you have to do is click File up there, click Save. Then go back to your obvious here, go back to SK Res, inject textures. Again, remove this part, the compressed underscore part. Remove this, that is just the numbers. Then click Save. Obviously, if you already don't have it replaced, obviously, I just replace it because I already have the modded. Click Yes. What you have to do now is you have to if you, the first thing you have to do is it would probably be on BC one or something. What you will have to do is you click you get up here and you will select this one, the first one B eight G eight R eight A eight linear. And you will and boy you click just click generate map maps and click on the super sampling. Click OK, save it, and then just go in your game. We need a plugin for Photoshop and you will need to go to this side the, you will need to go to this side here developer and video it's also in the description for the people that have Photoshop already then you will you do you want to click on join just re register an account you have to put in your email a email a password and everything just like normally send up and then just select something else you need, don't need to be a developer you can just type in your YouTube or anything to register to register there so easy enough and after that, you will just download this Adobe Photoshop plugin. Just download it, run the installer, and then we can already launch Photoshop. So now that we launched into Photoshop, just uh, so what you will do now is go to your Roblox folder. Just click on, uh, just just search for Roblox till you find your Roblox player. Right click, open file location. Right click, open for location again, and there is your Roblox and so forth, where you installed, uh, where you installed it, obviously. But well. then you can see this new folder called SKRS. Click on this, and then you click on Dump and Textures. Blocks Player Beta, and there you have all the textures you dumped. I obviously dumped a lot more already, but you will see these two in your folder, probably only these two. Then you will select both of these and just open them in Photoshop. Is enough, and then you get this video, obviously, just disable everything and just click OK twice. Obviously, because we have two textures. So just accept this twice. And now that we have both these textures loaded in, you can already start editing them. Just put in any texture you really want. To, to for the sake of this video, I'm going to be simplifying this a lot and just going to re... I'm just going to recolor this. If you also just want a recolored version of them, just click on Image, Adjustments, and then click on Here is the Saturation. Then click on Colorize. And then you can just use any color you really want here. I'm gonna go with my uh, default, like what I like, 205 and 25. Just click OK and repeat this on the other file. Again, image, adjustments, hue, saturation, colorize, it should save your settings. Perfect. And now that we have these done, what we will do now is go back to this to your files, go to file up there, click on save as. Then go back to your SK, click out to the SK rest folder, click on inject and textures. There, there you will just remove this compressed underscore. So the numbers are all intact. Like just so uh, just remove it up here. Then click on save. Then this window will pop up. And this is a very important step. You will need to save these as 8.8.8.8BGRA. You will have to save them as these files, then click on save, and this is the first file. Then do it exactly with the same. Click on file, save, remove, remove this. Then click on SKRS, inject textures, and do the exact same thing. And after you've done it the first time, it saves it. Unless you restart, uh, unless you restart Photoshop, then you have to redo this. Then click on save again, and this is pretty much it. The only thing you have to do is now you have you can close out the Photoshop. Then you can go back. Um, then you can just go back to your program to Phantom Forces, and just load it in normally. And we see us running the game. And now that you're in the game, you just have to press deploy, and as you can already see your texture, your 
hands are your textures are discolored. And obviously you can just add any picture overlay, you can save them exactly, just make sure you merge the textures. Just make sure you merge your textures to get it in. But that's really about it. You can go you can go wild with how you want to edit your textures. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial because I'm not someone who gatekeeps methods on how to edit stuff. I think it's just stupid. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe obviously. And we see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.